Hello, idlers. This is your Colonel speaking, and today I wanted to sort of address an issue that I guess I don't know. I haven't seen anyone else really discussing this, and maybe that's because, well, I don't know. But I wanted to talk about the Imp's Adventure, basically, because uh, so here I am here. And, you know, so I've done, like, I think I've done uh, about five of these now. I think we've had five Imps Adventures now. Maybe four. Four or five. But, uh, you know, every time I come up just short, it seems like. Uh, so, so, so today, I mean, I'm going, I, I have a lucky die, if you saw that. I have a lucky die. And then... Like a, and then the four more that I'm going to get uh, tonight for free, uh, and you know, I don't, I don't see me getting to 170 to get that chest, and I'm definitely not getting to 200 for the uh, for the five star, uh, you know, for the uh, hero selection chest here. So, uh, so honestly. You know, out of after you know, like I said, it's been we've, we've had four or five of these now, and I've, I've and I've only ever gotten I think a couple of times I've gotten to uh, one like one ninety eight, like seriously, like I've gotten so close to two hundred, but never gotten to two hundred, and and so I have to ask myself now, like, is this really, is this event really worth it? Uh, I guess, I guess you have basically three scenarios with this, uh, with this, with Imp's Adventure, basically. First of all, if you go the completely free-to-play route, you know, and you get your, uh, you know, you get your 20, you get your 20, uh, 20 coins, what are they? You get your 20 dice from, uh, from the shelter mission, and then just your four, and then on top of, and then on top of that, you get your four per day, you know, throughout the event. So if you if you go that route, then then that's pretty good. I mean, you basically, you just get everything. Everything you're getting is is free. All right. So everything you get on the board is free. Any any star rewards you get are f completely free. Of course, you're not. You know, I don't. Ex you know, don't expect to get anywhere, even close. I mean, you may get the 80 star reward that way. Uh, I don't think you'll even get to 110. So, but you know, again, that's completely free. Completely free. You know, you're getting free stuff. Everything you land on, you're getting for free. And uh, and any star rewards you're getting for free. So that's great. So that's you know. That's pretty cool for free to play. Now, the next the next step up is if you buy if you purchase all thirty of these dice, which which I've done now like I think three times, three or four times uh, on Imp's Adventure. And like I said, and this and this is where I think it, it gets kind of kind of a little bit sketchy. I think. I honestly think Imp's Adventure is designed to basically get you almost there, you know, but not quite. And so, and so then you say, oh, well, I guess I'll, you know, I guess I'll spend another nineteen ninety nine just, you know, to get, to get to, uh, you know, to get that next star award that I wanted, right? To get to that 200 chest or to get... You know, maybe the 230 chest or whatever. Um, I think that that seems to be the design of this. Uh, this, I think, I think this this game board is ba is designed to do that. I mean, um, and it's and and the thing is, if you are if you are thinking about, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are considering uh, spending this. Uh, you know, this is this is forty five hundred gems to get these thirty dice. 
So you got to you got to say, you know, is it really worth is it worth the forty five hundred? You know, you really have to weigh that because, uh, you know, you're going to get your, you're going to get, you know, all the stuff you land on, right? You, you're going to get all of that, so you have to factor that in. You know, you're going to get dust, you're going to get spirit here, you're going to get, uh, you know, whatever, right? Monster souls, depending on what you land on, right? On these spaces, you're going to get five star shards, whatever. So you you can factor that in and say, well, you know, is that worth? Uh, is that you know? Is that going to be worth the forty five hundred? Honestly, in my opinion, I think you really need to get to the two hundred star chest in order to make it worth it. Uh, this you know the six star puppet chest is pretty nice as well, um, but but I honestly think you need to get you know you need to get your six star puppet and you need to get your uh, five star hero selection chest. To really make it worth it, and and it is possible to get there with the forty five, you know, with the uh, forty five hundred gem investment in those thirty dice. But uh, but honestly, you know, you really have to weigh it. I mean, there's a lot of RNG in this built into this, so it's it's really it's not a sure thing by any means. You know, a lot a lot of events in in idle heroes are are pretty much you know like you know what you're going to get you know depending on what you put into the uh, into the event you know you know what you're going to get out of it whereas Imps Adventure really it's really up in the air I mean if you put in 4500 gems you know you could get to that 200 star chest or you could be like me uh, right now, you know, in this in this particular event, I'm probably going to get just under 170, right? And it's like I say, eh, you know, was it worth it? 4,500 gems for a skin, uh, you know, 10 heroic scrolls. I mean, 10 heroic scrolls is what 2,500, I guess. Is that right? No, it's 1,250, right? In Aspen Dungeon. So that's twelve fifty. You know, you got a, you got a, uh, you got a hero shard there, elite hero shard, and uh, you know, and and a skin, a limited skin, right? So is that worth forty five hundred? I don't know. You know, I really don't know. Again, uh, in, in addition to landing on all these types of things, but but the bottom bottom line is that basically, you know. This Imp's Adventure is obviously geared toward toward spenders. It really is. It's it's geared toward people who spend, because uh, because obviously you know uh, once you know once your star huts are all upgraded, you know then whatever your whatever additional dice you throw into the game at that point is is where you really get the the big rewards, right? Um, and so, and so, so like I said, even if you're, you know, if you're spending the, if you're buying the 30 gems, uh, sorry, the 30 dice, uh, in addition to the 20 you get for shelter mission, and then, uh, you know, the, the four per day that you get, you know, that's really not going to get you what you need, right? You're going to have to spend, uh, on this package for another 10 and even uh, you're probably even going to have to purchase these value packages, and that's where you really start getting your your big rewards on Imp's Adventure because, like I said, you already you already have your your huts, your star huts, uh, your star starry mushroom, sorry, upgraded. And so now, whatever you know, whatever dice you throw into the game now, is where you really start racking up the rewards. So it's really for spenders, honestly. Um, uh, you know, like I said, I've 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 tried to go the free to play route. I've tried to go, uh, you know, with just with just the thirty, the thirty dice that you're allowed, and and like I said, I've come up short every every time. Like I've come uh, just below the the two hundred star mark there. Uh, this time I'm coming just below the one seventy mark, and uh, you know, and that's out of that's out of. Like I said, that's out of four or five times. So, 
So those are your odds, basically. I mean, you know, your odds are basically, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this now and saying, you know, that's basically where I'm going to end up every time. Is that worth 4,500 gems? So that's, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. And, and we'll just see, you know, we'll see where I get tonight. But like I said, I mean, I got four more dice and a lucky die, basically. Uh, you know, so, I mean, I could get, what, you know, that's like 15, another 15 gems, probably. Maybe I could get 20 if I'm, if I'm lucky. And, e you know, even then, you know, that's going to leave me at 166, right? So, so, yeah, that's, those are just kind of my thoughts on Imp's Adventure. Uh, you really, you really need to weigh, you know, is that 4,500 gem investment going to be worth it you know some like i said out of out of four you know out of four imps adventures so far it really hasn't been worth it for me in my opinion uh that 4500 gym investment so we'll see i mean obviously you know if you can afford it every time you know maybe it's worth it right i mean if you can afford it if it doesn't hurt you at all but if you're if you're really stretching, if that's a real stretch for you, the forty five hundred gems, then I would I would seriously consider just not you know just skipping this event, uh, you know at least skipping those thirty extra dice. Just uh, you know if you're tight on gem, if you're really tight, if it's going to make you really tight on gems, just don't do it. Just skip it. Is my advice. But anyway. Those are my thoughts on Imp's Adventure. I just, I just wanted to share those with you. I hope that was uh, informative, and uh, and just remember, as always, that karma can be a real bitch, especially in the Imp's Adventure. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, everybody, thank you for joining me today, and I will see you all tomorrow night for the new events. And uh, I am your Colonel signing off. <laughs>